Hi there, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to set up pages within your Google site and how to enable page level permissions. This allows you to set up different permissions for each page of your Google site. So you might have a common area on the front page and some pages that you want all of your students or um, other people in your class to access or um, you may like to set up pages with very specific permissions so just one or two people can access that page. So the first thing you need to do is to ensure that you're in the, using the Firefox or a Google Chrome browser. Um, you'll find Google always works much better in Firefox or Chrome and um, don't use Internet Explorer. So once you've opened up your browser, log into your Google account and access the Google Sites page. Open up the website that you would like to work on and then if you would like to set up a page you just simply need to go up to the new page icon which is this little page up on the top right with a plus on it and I'm going to use the example of setting up um, a Google site which has personal blog pages for each student. So I have already shared this Google site with each member of my class so they have access to the Google site but I would like to set up pages for each student that only they and I can access. So I click on the plus and because I would like this to operate as a um, blog type page where they put in posts that show up chronologically on the page, I'm going to choose the announcements page. That turns it into a blog type page. I'm going to name the page after my student, so I'll use the example of Summer. This is going to be her page. Once I make sure I've set up the template that I want, which is announcements, put in a title, I can click on create. I'm now going to set up sharing for Summer on that page. So at the moment everyone in the class can access that page but I can click on share at the top right hand corner and you will see this is a new feature you can now enable page level permissions that helps you to control each single page so I'm going to click on enable page level permissions it's going to check if I want that set up there is a getting started guide there that you can access for more information click on page level settings and you'll see now I have a site map so I need to make sure I'm on the right page. I want to set it, set it up for summer. So I click on that page and it asks me here, do I want the same permissions and members as all of my Year 9 English website? I don't, so I'm going to click on Change and I am going to click on Use Custom Permissions and I'm going to say that I don't want any new um, users to access this page. So that second box there and then I click on save. Now this is the slightly tricky part and slightly laborious part is you then have to remove people that you do not want to be able to see this page. So I'm going to keep myself having access because I want to be able to see it but any other students who are not summer I'm going to simply close off their access to the page by clicking on the X next to their name. It's simply a matter of going through and turning off everyone except for that one student and myself. So this is, is a bit of a hassle but once you've done it once it's all ready to go. And any pages that Summer now sets up underneath her page will automatically have the same permissions. So they will automatically be private pages um, that only Summer and myself can see. So there we are, I have now um, taken off all of the students I do want, don't want to be able to see that page and I simply hit on save changes. Okay, so and it says there any pages created under Summer will start with these permissions. If she would then like to work with another group of students, she could always go back in and she can actually change these settings and allow them to have access. So she is in control of that page and can change the settings. So that is how you create a page and how you set up page level pages.